Hi, my name is Brother Stephen Pardee, SVD, and I am glad to be with you to share my gleanings of today's reading in our app, I God Today. Share it with others and do let us know what you think of these talks. You can now text us with your comments, pro and con. So today's story is a loaded one and not so simple as it looks on the surface. The question is, why was it chosen from all that was available and included in the gospel stories? It was, after all, written around the year 80 or 90 and therefore after the destruction of the temple, which was therefore no more. Well, that chaotic disaster had left a lot of frustrated and angry Jews at Vespasian and the Roman authorities. So here we see the people being subtly warned that they must pay the Roman tax to avoid any further condemnation or punishment. However unpleasant the circumstances or, or authorities, authority must be respected. But how? Jesus did not use miracles to benefit himself. Nor does God send a miracle to solve the problems that we can do ourselves. By that I mean by miraculously catching a fish and finding a coin. <laughs> not hardly. Miracles do not pop up at our convenience. The gods, said one Greek, have ordained that sweat should be the price of all things. Therefore, the fishermen must go and catch fish sell them and earn the money. The secretary must fulfill that job and earn her or his ability to pay. So too with the mechanic or the teacher. So here Jesus was saying that, yes, fish had value, but it is not in its gills. He was telling him that in the salary earned, we would get what was needed to fulfill our obligations and also to respect authority, no matter how onerous it might be. But still, it is a great and evocative story. And that is why it was included in the first place. Amen.